Good evening. Today I'd like to talk to you about the recent court overruling of McCain-Feingold and the allowing of corporations and uh, other bodies previously not allowed to to donate as much as they want to whatever political campaign they might be wanting to support. Now, this is inside politics, but I'll tell you this much. This is a freedom of speech issue and a free polit press issue, free politics issue. The people have to remember that even the corporations, its boards, its leaders, etc., are people as well. And they have a right to have their voices heard and spend their money and support whatever causes they want to support. Up to this point, there has been uneven playing field. The only groups that are allowed to have a voice in the political realm were the Democrats through their unions and through their special interest groups that they created. If we as a nation really want to make a difference, we need to allow everyone a voice, whether they're corporation or not. The premise that you should not be allowed a voice just because you're a wealthy corporation is ridiculous. They deserve representation also. The idea that you should silence a group because, gosh, they're just too rich. That may give them too much of a voice. is ridiculous. Now, that only works if you buy the idea that you can't, you can't have a voice in public office unless you have everyone pay the exact same amount of money. Well, first off, it's never worked. Now, that system has never been installed. Certain groups are able to pay an infinite amount of money, like the unions, hundreds of millions of dollars to, can to each candidate. But other groups, like corporations, only a thousand dollars. Come on, really? Now, I understand the concern. The concern is that you're not going to have the right to actually express yourself. You're not going to get your voice out there. But this, in this day and age of internet access, etc., everyone can have their voice out there. And if there's enough people who share common voice, the unions and etc. have demonstrated that it's entirely possible. For you to get your voice out there. So, does this feed to the, big cat, the quote big cats of industry? Yes, it does. It does feed to the big cats of industry. But then again, up to now, the big cats of union have been controlling everything. Special interests of the political left have been controlling much of the political spectrum. Now, you can tell how good this, union, this ruling was by how pissed off the Democrats are about it. They knew the rule, the law in the first place wasn't constitutional. Nothing in the Constitution permits you to silence a group's political power by limiting their wealth, their ability to support political candidates. Nothing in the Constitution does, the Constitution does that. That's not activism to support the Constitution. That's law. That's required. In fact, that is the job of the Supreme Court. Not to uphold um, non-constitutional laws, but to stay by the Constitution. They're the standard by which everyone's supposed to be judged. In fact, Congress swears an oath to defend the Constitution, and they're not doing it. We need to, what, we need to stop the games and allow a free exchange of ideas, and that means free exchange of, of funds for campaigns. It's just that simple. The only problem is when somebody actively restricts the free exchange of ideas. And that can include restricting the wealthy and it can include restricting the poor. That should be the focus. Thank you very much. Have a good day and God bless.